Hey everyone, so today I want to do February favorites. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I do have some favorites to show you. Some of them are fairly new, others I've been using for a while and haven't really showed you. So I wanted to show you what I've been loving for the past month. I'll start off with some of the newer things that you've seen in my last MAC haul. Ever since I've gotten these, I've been using them nonstop. If I'm not using one of them, I'm using the other one. And it's the MAC Pearl Glide Intense Eyeliners. One's Black Line and the other one's Black Swan. I have Black Swan on today. They're just really creamy, nice crayon liners. And I love them. They have some sparkle to them, but they're really dark. I love these swatches are in the my latest MAC haul. Sorry, I had to just adjust the lighting a little bit. Okay. Then the other thing from MAC is the Hot and Saucy, whatever this is, Tender Tone. I love this one. I'm so glad I got this color because it's just gorgeous. Whenever I just don't have enough time to really do anything in the morning, which is a lot of mornings I put this on and it's like sticky to your lips I hate when my hair gets stuck in it it's pretty annoying but it doesn't like get all over your face sticky and it lasts a really long time on your lips so I love that I don't mind the smell though it is pretty fruity it's okay then um, some eye products from the drugstore these, which I don't know that I've talked about on here. On my blog, I have swatches of all these. The L'Oreal Infallible 24-hour eyeshadows. I have a bunch of them. This is Ice Latte and Eternal Sunshine. These are so nice. And they're like pressed pigments. They come with a little thing like this. They're so, so nice. So that is Eternal Sunshine. I'll show you what this looks like. You can just see how nice that is. Gives a nice shine. It's like a metallic pressed pigment. And then Ice Latte is so pretty for a highlight or just all over the lid for a bright eyed look and like a dark liner or even no eyeliner and just mascara. That's what I've been doing a lot. This one needs to be pressed a little more. That's what it looks like. And in comparison, I don't know if this one's on the blog. There's Ice Latte. So I've been absolutely loving those. And then sticking with eyeshadow, I have the Maybelline color tattoos and this is bad to the bronze this one is not on my blog all the other colors I have are I've had some creasing issues with these however if I wear them with a primer I'm good that's what this looks like that's what this looks like that's the bronze it's a really pretty color and it's very pigmented it's just if you put too much on and don't use a primer I have had some creasing issues, so watch out for that, but I do love this on its own. Okay, next I want to show you two mascaras I've been loving. Right now I have on Maybelline One by One Volume Express Mascara. This is my second tube of this because I decided the one that I had, I had it like when, right when it first came out kind of, and I had used it for a while, then didn't use it, and was using it on and off. and. I never really follow that rule when you're supposed to throw it out, but then I thought, you know, you're using it on your eye, sensitive area, it was time to throw it out. So I got a new one and I love it because it hardly flakes, if at all. All my other mascaras pretty much flake, so this is what the wand looks like. I'm sure you've seen it before. I absolutely love it. Like I said, I have it on today. It's by far my favorite. But then I got this in a sample, 
and I really like this. It's totally different though because this is a really wet mascara and this is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes and this is really dry. However, this has minimal flaking as well, but it's so volumizing. It doesn't really make your lashes dark, which is my only downfall. This is almost out, I think. I really like this as well. This is going to be pretty expensive. I think 18 to 20 something dollars. But I do have one Sephora gift card left from Christmas. So I think that's what I'm going to splurge on. Then this, which I also have on today. It's the Garnier Skin Renew. The BB cream. Now, I've had this. And I used it a couple times. Didn't really love it. I wanted to do a video on it, but I wanted to do it, the video, giving my review, but I didn't want to do it if I hadn't used it very often. So now I have. So if you want to see a review on this, let me know. I've seen a few of them, not an overwhelming amount, which is kind of weird. I thought people would go crazy about this, but um, I really do like it. I don't love the smell. Because me with smells, I don't know if you know this yet, but I really hate smells. I do like the coverage it gives. It's really nice. Um, there are some downfalls, I feel. But I don't think it does, like, what this picture is showing. But for $10, it was twelve ninety nine at CVS, but I got it for $10, and I've seen it for $10 a bunch of times. I like it so far, and I've never used any of the... Japanese BB creams or anything so I have nothing to really compare it to except one other product from Origins so if you do want to see a review let me know I might do one soon anyway and then two other products um, my concealer that I hit pan on which I've like done once in my life before it's the Bobbi Brown creamy concealer and it's in ivory and I got this at a CCO and I color matched myself and it seems to be working. I don't use a corrector or anything before, I've just been using this. So I before that I always used Amazing Cosmetics Concealer in Medium Beige Light for under my eyes. And this is my second tube of this now. But it kind of um, matches my skin color and I wanted something lighter to go under my eyes so this is better and always has been better for like to cover redness or acne or anything like that whereas this is better for under eye so I still love this but it just this color matches my skin tone best so those are my February favorites let me know what you've been loving and let me know if you want some kind of review on this and yeah thanks for watching bye and also I want to show you um, we just got a wicked snowstorm and I want to show you what it's doing outside so it's snowing right now and it looks so pretty outside we just got a major well not major but our first real snowstorm of the season so I wanted to show you how pretty it looks 